Hey guys, Dislater Magic here, and this is one of the most requested videos or topics or whatever that uh, people have left in the comment section. So, a lot of people have asked me, uh, who is your commander in your commander deck? Um, you know, what's your favorite commander? You know, stuff like that. Well, the first commander deck I ever built is still, I guess you could say, together. I mean, I've probably swapped out like 70 of the cards at this point, but the concept remains about the same. A little bit more focused, a little bit more powerful now, though. So basically, I nicknamed the deck Don't Attack Me because don't. Nothing good is going to come from you attacking me. So it's definitely a multiplayer uh, type of thing. Although, in a one versus one, I mean, you're not going to dissuade them from attacking you. You're the only opponent, but bad things are still going to happen to them. So whatever. So it works either way because, I mean, if three people are all attacking you in a row, you're going to run out of mana at some point. So besides, uh, you know, counter spells, obviously, where if you try to launch something at me, I'm just going to stop it. Or uh, if you really target something horrific at me, I've got every version of redirect ever made in the deck. So, um, yeah, that's going to backfire, literally. But the whole idea wraps around the commander, and the commander is Esperia, the Supreme Judge. Oh my gosh, very Overlooked but Awesome card. If I'm not mistaken, it was in the Overlooked but Awesome series. So uh, let me show you what exactly this deck does. Whenever a creature attacks you or a Planeswalker you control, you may draw a card. That is per attacker. So if they swing at you or a Planeswalker with four creatures, you draw four cards. I mean, I really can't understate the power of that. So there's one fun little trick you can do with that, uh, especially in Commander. Uh, let me try to illustrate it by showing you, well, a good portion of the cards that are in my deck. In alphabetical order, kind of, assuming AE comes first, Aetherize, return all attacking creatures to their hands. Now, imagine drawing that sort of in response as a triggered uh, ability to them attacking you. Well, now they're not. Uh, Aether Spouts, a slightly improved version, uh, costs one more mana, but for each attacking creature, the owner puts it on top or bottom of his or her library. Their choice, and it's uh, per, not total. Next up, Aether Toe, because why not? Put target attacking or blocking creature on top of its owner's library. Conspire, as you cast this spell, you may tap two untapped creatures you control that share a color with it. That might be a little bit of a problem. Uh, when you do, copy it, and you may choose a new target for the copy. Ouch. Azorius Charm. Everybody loves this one. Uh, choose one. Boy, wouldn't it have been nice if they put them in a little bull bulleted list? Anyway, creatures you control gain lifelink. Who cares? Or draw a card. Who cares? Or put target attacking or blocking creature on top of its owner's library. Ooh, now I care. Blessed Alliance. Perhaps you've heard of this card. Escalate 2. The only important one is target opponent sacrifices an attacking creature. Celestial Flare, quite possibly the most referred to card on my entire channel. Target player sacrifices an attacking or blocking creature. Can't beat a classic. And there's a couple clones of it, too. Uh, chastise, destroy target attacking creature. You gain life equal to its power. Ouch. That's a good way to backfire. Uh, Command of Unsummoning. Play Command of Unsummoning only after you're attacked before you declare Interceptors. Good lord, how old is this card? <laughs> Return any one or two attacking creatures to their owner's hand. Condemn. Put target attacking creature on the bottom of its owner's library. Its controller gains life equal to its toughness. That one I don't like. Uh, coordinated Barrage. Choose a creature type. Coordinated Barrage deals damage to target attacking or blocking creature equal to the number of permanents you control of the chosen type. Kind of got to go tribal, but hey. Curtain of Light. I love this one. Target attacking unblocked creature becomes blocked. Draw a card. So unless it has Trample, it deals zero damage, and if it has Lifelink, it gains zero. Anyway, uh, Devouring Light. Convoke instant exile target attacking or blocking creature. Love that one. It can cost uh, two. Dispense Justice. Target player sacrifices an attacking creature. Metalcraft. Who cares? Um, Divine Retribution. For each attacking creature, Divine Retribution deals one damage to target attacking creature. Ouch. Uh, Dramatic Rescue. I love this one because it's from Return to Ravnica. Uh, return target creature to its owner's hand. You gain two life. Nice. Doesn't even have to be attacking. You can just do that whenever. Um, Entrapment Maneuver. Target player sacrifices an attacking creature. You create X11 white soldier creature tokens where X is that creature's toughness. Whoa, and that is before declared uh, blockers. Ouch. Um, excise. 
Remove target attacking creature from the game unless its controller pays X. One X. Uh, exile, the actual literal spell, exile. Exile target non-white attacking creature. You gain life equal to its toughness. Oh, look at him. He's standing in the, in the corner of shame. Anyway, <laughs> Gideon's Reproach. Deal four damage to attacking or blocking creature. Immolating Glare, destroy target attacking creature. Judge Unworthy, choose target attacking or blocking creature, scry three, then reveal the top card of your library. Judge Unworthy deals damage equal to that card's converted mana cost to that creature. Uh, kill Shot, destroy target attacking creature. Marrow Shards, uh, it can be cast for uh, basically zero, that's kind of nice. Marrow Shards deals one damage to each attacking creature. Not great, but eh, you might be able to kill some stuff. Uh, Reign of Blades, Reign of Blades deals one damage to each attacking creature. Uh, Blessed Reversal, you gain three life for each creature attacking you. Love that. Very creative way to mostly negate or, well, completely reverse any kind of attack. Um, I just love the artwork, too. That is hilarious. Remove. Play remove only after your attack, but before you declare blockers, return any one attacking creature to its owner's hand. Ouch. Inquisitor's Snare. Prevent all damage target attacking or blocking creature would deal this turn. If that creature is black or red, destroy it. Sweep away, absolute classic. Return target creature to its owner's hand. If that creature is attacking, you may put it on top of their library instead. Very utility. Uh, Vengeful Dreams. As an additional cost to play Vengeful Dreams, discard X cards from your hand. Remove X target attacking creatures from the game. <laughs> Ooh, ouch. Uh, warning. No, seriously, that's the name of the card. Target attacking creature deals no damage in combat this turn. Not too bad. Whisk away. Put target attacking or blocking creature on top of his owner's library. Lots of redundancy here. Wing shards, love it. Target player attacks or sacrifices an attacking creature. Storm, when you cast this spell, copy it for each spell cast before it this turn. Oh my god. For some reason, I didn't put select for inspection on this list, but you guys know what that does. It's in standard right now. And last but certainly not least, in fact, best, we've got a wall. Remove target attacking creature from the game, then remove it from the remove from game zone. Yes, that is a real thing. And put it into the absolutely remove from the freaking game forever zone. Little bit of a poke at the fact that they started interacting with the exile zone. By the way, nobody calls it the remove from game zone. It's the exile zone. That may or may not be its official name, but come on. Everybody calls it that. So, yes, good luck bringing it back from exile or using ingest or any of this crap or flickering it or... I don't know. No, it's gone. It's so gone you can see through to the back of the card. So, um, yeah, you can see why I would run Asperia, because if every single one of those cards is in your deck, you're probably going to disrupt their attack. I mean, I also run a couple cards that didn't make it through the filter for some reason, like Riot Control. That's where uh, you gain one life for each creature your opponent's control, prevent all damage that would be dealt to you this turn. So there is a lot of stuff that you can effectively top deck, I guess you would say, with Asperia if she's your commander. And, um, you know, usually the rest of the deck is a lot of spells like turn aside, redirect, negate, so that they don't blow up Asperia. She does cost six, it's a little rough, but um, the rest of the deck is basically just um, giant white flying creatures or anything with first strike or lifelink or double strike, because... Uh, I want to have very spell-heavy hands and then um, basically be able to hit them and kill them with, uh, you know, a handful of creatures. So what do you guys think of Asperia? Is it pretty much the greatest commander ever made? Probably not, but it's fun and I love playing with her. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys uh, will be inspired to put it in something because it's an excellent card. And I will see you guys next video.